Hey guys, what's up? You ready for some wisdom, knowledge, and insight? I'd like to welcome you to today's segment of Wisdom Wednesday. Let's get to it. Hey, what's up everyone? So, uh, today is Wisdom Wednesday. Uh, in case some of you have been following, yeah, I missed Monday. Uh, we were actually out of town and we didn't get in late till Monday night. And I really didn't feel like uh, doing Motivational Monday on a Tuesday because that kind of sounds weird. Motivational Tuesday. Yeah. So, uh, so again, welcome to Wednesday's video. Um, today we're going to be looking at a quote from Emmanuel James Jim Ron. Um, a lot of people knew him as Jim Ron. Um, he was born September 17th, 1930. He died December 5th, 2009. Uh, he left college one year after uh, to work as a, as a store clerk at Sears. And uh, at the time when he was working there, he had a friend um, come up to him and say, hey, come check out this, uh, this, I think it was like a seminar or something. And he ended up going to it and in 1955. And he joined a direct selling company uh, from that seminar called Abita Vita, or no, Abunda Vita, as a distributor. And then later on, he quit there in 1957 and joined a place called Nutrobio, Nutrobio, which he later became vice president of the company. Um, I think it was around the early 60s that company actually went out of business, and he was actually invited to speak at his Rotary Club, which, if you don't know what a Rotary Club is, it's it's like a humanitarian club or a service where they bring uh, they bring businesses and people together to do uh, humanitarian work for the world and stuff. So. Um, they they had him speak at a luncheon and then eventually that led to him uh, speaking at more uh, various events and stuff like that. So eventually he gave his first public seminar which led to presenting all across the country uh, telling his story and teaching personal development philosophy. Over the years uh, Jim has mentored big name people like Mark Hughes founder of uh, Herbalife International uh, life coach Tony Robbins and Jack Canfield, the guy who wrote the Chicken Chicken Soup for the Soul books. Um, so that's just to name a few of the people. He's, he's actually mentored and and uh, helped develop a lot of the big names of people you you see out there in life. So the quote I wanted to to look at from him today, um, it's kind of it's kind of cool because if you look at his life, it, it seems like he was kind of like all over the place, but then he really found where he wanted to be, but uh, the quote that he that, that really stands out from him for me is discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. And I look at that quote and, and it really it really sets in to where you can set as many goals as you want, but if you don't ever achieve them, then what good is that goal? It it, it doesn't do anything for you. So the, he's saying the main point to get from goals to accomplishment, to, to get across that gap, your bridge is discipline. And that's, you know, waking up every morning and, and so say you have a fitness goal, waking up every morning and going and working out and eating right and getting, getting that discipline of, of sticking to, your, to your, uh, your plan of what you have for your goal. You know, say you want to lose, you know, 25 pounds. You have to have discipline to get to that goal, to accomplish it. Or say you want to save $5,000 by the end of the year. You know, you have to have the discipline to put that money away so at the end of the year you have that $5,000, you accomplish that goal. So with any of the goals you have in life, you have to set a discipline uh, plan of action. So, you know, like for me, um, my discipline for, you know, my goals is to make videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And my discipline is that I get up and I actually record them and I edit them and I put them up. And of course I'm I'm having other goals and stuff that I'm I'm you know gonna start striving for. Um, the next one that I'm I'm gonna start trying to accomplish is a fitness goal. Um, so the discipline is gonna be for me to get up in the morning and work out, you know, drink lots of water, eat better you know things like that so I'm gonna to have to be disciplined if I want to reach that that accomplishment of that goal 
Um, you know, there, there's so many goals in life that you could accomplish if you just put in the discipline and the work. So I wanted to wanted to look at that quote today. I want to see what you guys have to say about it. You know, put in the comments below what you think that this goal or this uh, quote means to you, or even what are some of the goals you have, and what are possibly the disciplinary actions you're going to take to really accomplish that goal. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys have. Um, e either A, you want to just share it so that other people may see that, oh yeah, that's something that I want to strive for, even, or even just for accountability, you know. So I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say. If you got something out of this video, go ahead and give it a like. Share it off to some other people that you think may also get something out of this. I also want to thank all of you for stopping by. I hope you all have a wonderful day and God bless.